blind man's daughter. Many years ago, there lived a poor blind man called Shim. He and his wife were childless, and never a day went past when the couple did not pray to the spirits for the blessing of a child. It was only after many years that their prayers were granted, and Shim's wife gave birth to a beautiful daughter whom they named Shim Chong. But sadly, the mother died soon after giving birth, and poor blind Shim was left to bring up the child alone and as best he could. The years went by, and Shim Chong grew into a beautiful young woman devoted to her father. One day, old man Shim was walking out alone when he fell into a deep ditch that brought water to the fields. Every time he tried to scramble out, he slid back again into the mud. He had started to think that he would die in that ditch and he was bemoaning his fate when he heard a voice speak to him from above. Old man, said the voice. We have heard you complain many times about your blindness. If you will give three hundred sacks of rice to the temple as an offering to Lord Buddha, then we monks will pray for you to be able to see once again. The old man cried out, Good monks, only save me now and return me safely to my daughter and I will gladly offer you whatever you ask to give to Lord Buddha. And no sooner had he spoken than he felt gentle but firm hands lift him up and out of the ditch. To the blind old man, it seemed that those hands had reached down from heaven itself. Shim was so grateful for his rescue that he thanked the monks again and again and swore that he would bring the 300 sacks of rice to the temple. It was not until later, when he was already home and dry, that he realised that he had no chance of keeping his promise to the monks. Oh, Shim Chong, he said to his daughter, what shall I do? We are so poor that I could not offer three bowls of rice, let alone three hundred sacks. Now what a terrible fate will befall us, for I have offended Lord Buddha himself. And father and daughter both began to weep for neither of them could think of any way to pay their debt to the temple. That night, as Shim Chong lay awake, unable to sleep, her mother appeared to her and said, Go down to the harbour tomorrow. There you will find a merchant looking for a young girl. Go with him and he will provide the 300 sacks of rice. And it so happened that the dragon king of the East Sea was angry with a rich merchant and he had sent storms to sink the merchant ships on the way to China. After losing ship after ship in this way, the merchant had consulted the high priest Dragon King's temple, and he told the merchant that he must take 
a beautiful young maiden out to sea and sacrifice her to the Dragon King. The merchant offered a great quantity of gold to any family that would give up their daughter to the Dragon King of the East Sea. But none would enter into such a terrible deal. And then Shim Chong appeared at the harbour and she went to the merchant and offered herself in return for 300 sacks of rice to be sent to her father. The merchant could not believe his luck. 300 sacks of rice was nothing to him, a low price indeed. But although the merchant kept his promise, and although the monks did indeed pray for the return of old man Shim's sight, Nothing happened. And now, not only was he poor and blind, but he had lost his daughter too, and he was utterly alone. Shim Chong boarded the merchant ship, and the ship put out to sea. At first, the waters were calm, and then the Dragon King began to thrash his tail and the waves started to toss the ship to and fro. The merchant told Shim Chong to put on her bright coloured wedding dress and then he brought her out of the hold and up onto the deck. Shim Chong quietly said a prayer and then leapt over the side of the ship and into the waves. As soon as she had disappeared, the violent sea grew calm again. The sailors wept because they had never seen a girl at once so beautiful and so brave. Shim Chung sank deeper and deeper into the icy cold sea. And when she opened her eyes, she was surrounded by bright fish of every colour and shape. And they led her to the palace of the Dragon King of the East Sea. And there she lived, happily at first. But it was not long before she began to miss her father deeply. And she began to look sad, and sometimes there were tears in her eyes. At last, the Dragon King could no longer bear to see the lonely girl looking so sad. Her devotion to her father touched his heart. And as a reward for her goodness, he sent her back to the world above. Only first, he transformed her into a lotus flower. A fisherman found the giant lotus blossom in the mouth of the river, and he was so overcome by its beauty that he decided to make it a gift to the king of the land above. His queen had recently died and he was in deep mourning. When he saw the flower, his eyes lit up in wonder. He thanked the fisherman with gold and set the flower up in his room. And every time he felt sad, he stood and looked at it, admiring its beauty. What he did not know was that each night when the palace was asleep, Shim Chong would come out of the blossom and walk through the many beautiful chambers and halls. And at first light, she would merge back into the flower. One night, 
the king could not sleep, and he got out of bed and drew the blinds to let the moonlight into his room. He turned around and was amazed to see the most beautiful woman he had ever beheld. Who are you? he said. Are you a spirit? The girl tried to merge back into the lotus blossom, but it had vanished. She could not say who she was, for surely the king would not believe her story. But the king could not help but fall in love with her. And she was moved that such a powerful man could be so gentle and sincere. Not long after, they were married. And on their wedding day, he said to her, My blossom, now you are my queen. Anything you wish, I shall grant. All you have to do is tell me your desire. And Shim Chong replied, There is only one thing I wish for. Let there be a great banquet to celebrate our marriage. And may all the blind men of the kingdom be invited to dine. His bride's wish was strange and unexpected. But the king gladly granted it, and they held a banquet. And blind beggar men came from all four corners of the land to feast at the table of the king. And the new queen watched from behind the silk curtains, hoping to catch sight of her father. But though hundreds and hundreds of blind men came into the banqueting hall, not one was her father. And the queen had given up all hope of seeing him. He must have died of grief when I went away, she thought sadly to herself. But one of the king's kindest and most faithful stewards called out, do not close the doors, for there is one more beggar for the banquet. And an old man entered the hall. Leaning on one shoulder of the steward, his clothes were ragged, and he was covered with dust from the journey, and he was so weak he could hardly walk. Shim Chong came out from behind the curtain and held his hand. Father, she said, it is I. And when the old man heard that familiar and much loved voice of his daughter, he opened his eyes. And that was the story of the blind man's daughter. I do hope you enjoy the story as much as I did. <laughs>